Hello, NEAF fifth members. I hope you're having a great summer and had a safe Independence Day as we celebrated our great nation's birthday. I have the privilege of representing you and NEAF fifth at the annual conference of the American Association of Family and Consumer Sciences, or AAFCS as some of us know it. The conference was held in Orlando, Florida during the latter part of June. As sister associations, NEAFCS and AAFCS embrace each other's vision for our profession of family consumer sciences and continue to partner to magnify our profession and increase visibility. During the AAFCS annual conference, the Alliance for Family and Consumer Sciences held their annual meeting. Alliance members include NIFA, the Association of Career and Technical Education Family and Consumer Sciences Division, the International Federation of Home Economics, or IFE US affiliate, and FCCLA, the Youth Organization of Future Community and Consumer Leaders of America, along with NEAFCS and other representatives of academia, industry, and professional organizations. We met to discuss how the Alliance could leverage our resources together to elevate our profession. NEAFCS has set the bar with the impact statement. Organizations are interested in the model that we use to collect this information. I expect more discussion in future meetings of the Alliance and how other organizations can adapt this model. During AAFCS, I presented a concurrent session about the current state of NEAFCS. The impact statements were highlighted during this session where participants in small groups viewed one statement and discussed how it could be used locally or at a state level. AAFCS gave NEAFCS an information table in their hub or exhibitors hall to use to meet and greet participants in the conference. We met students, teachers, and professionals who were interested in learning more about our member benefits, like the Journal of NEAFCS and impact statements. We especially had a great time meeting new and future family and consumer sciences professionals who have an interest in an extension career. In September, members will host an information table during the International Federation of Home Economics World Congress, which will be held in Atlanta, Georgia. Your board, approximately two years ago, decided that participation in the World Congress was vital for NEAFCS, since the World Congress has been held so very few times in the United States. It literally is a once in a lifetime experience for the World Congress to be in our country. As a fellow Alliance member, IFI has extended an opportunity for NEAFCS members to visit one-on-one -on -one with family and consumer sciences professionals from around the world. If you're planning to attend IFI and would like the opportunity to serve as a host at the, NEA, at the NEAFCS information table, please email it me as soon as possible. Thanks to Keyshawn Thomas, Southern Region Director, and Samantha Kennedy, Vice President for Awards and Recognition, for their help in delivering items to the Congress. As we prepare for our annual session in September, the 2022 ICON contest is ending. We are looking forward to receiving emails from the first five members who, lo who locate the right flyer in this issue. They will be the final members that will be entered into the contest for the drawing of a free registration to annual session. Please send your emails to my attention if you find the ICON. The President's charity for this year's annual session is our endowment. Our theme is $22 or more in 2022. Please visit the NEAFCS website to make your donation to the endowment. Once your donation is received, you will receive a great signature line icon to share in your emails to show off your donation and to promote NEAFCS. More information about the President's charity and the endowment can be found in, on our website. Thank you for your continued support of NEAFCS and our profession, Family and Consumer Sciences. I hope to see you at the annual session in Raleigh, North Carolina in September.